everyone, and welcome to our new two-week squat challenge. For this challenge, like I said, it's going to be two weeks long, and we're going to be starting today doing 30 squats, and we're going to eventually be making our way up to doing 100 squats. Now, I know that might sound intimidating, but we're going to take it little by little and slowly increase the number of squats we're doing. I know sometimes it can also be a bit boring to just do a lot of squats at once, so we're going to be kind of mixing things up a bit, throwing some different kinds of squats in there as well, so you're not just doing the same movement over and over again up to 100 times. Now, before we get started with the squats, we're going to talk a little bit about proper form because I want to make sure that everyone is doing their squats correctly so that you don't injure yourself. Now, the first thing we're going to talk about with the squat is where our feet should be. For a regular squat, you want your feet to be about shoulder width apart. It should be pretty comfortable just to stand like this. And then, when you're going down in your squat, you want to make sure that your knees stay over top of your toes and that your knees don't start to collapse in or collapse out, otherwise you could really hurt your knees. Something else you want to make sure of for your squat is that when you squat down, you don't want your butt to really be going past your knees. You want to keep this nice angle. If you go all the way down like this and come back up each time, that's also going to be really bad for your knees and you could injure your knees doing that. One last thing that you want to try to keep in mind for your squats is that you try to keep your back straight. Your torso will start to angle forward as you go down in the squat, but you want to keep your back straight and you don't want to be rounding it like this as you're going down for the squat. You want to keep your back nice and straight. Very last thing is that when you stand up from the squat, you want to make sure you come to a full standing position and make sure you try to give your butt a little bit of a squeeze as you come back up to the standing position and then that will give you full muscle benefits for each of the squats that you're going to be doing. Alright, so we're going to get started with today's squats. Today, as I said earlier, we're going to start with 30 squats and I'm going to do the counting for you guys after 10, we're going to take a short rest, move our legs out a bit, and then do the next 10. Alright, if everybody's ready, uh, usually for your hands, if you're doing this without weights, then I just like to keep my hands in front of me, kind of fingers intertwined like this. Or if you want to challenge yourself a little bit, feel free to hold some weights while we're doing this. Okay, here we go. One. Two. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. All right, if you need to, you can shake your legs out a little bit. Maybe change up where you're standing if you're finding you're not very comfortable. But here we go again with our next ten. Setting our feet up. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. All right, here we go. Twenty already done. Feel free to shake your legs out if you need it. If you find that the pace is too fast, then just feel free to go slower at your own speed. Don't be afraid to pause the video at any point if you need to as well. You need time to just catch up because you don't want to be trying to go too fast and end up doing improper form and hurting your knees or your hips at all. Okay, here we go with our last 10. One, two, three, four, Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. There we go. Day one done, 30 squats in, and I will see everybody tomorrow for day two of the challenge.